Mike here from South and Normal, still in his off-site location, wearing the picnic table garb, coming at you today to talk about Moon Knight Episode 4. Um, subscribe, follow along for more great content. I got a lot of stuff over there. I want, want you guys to watch, comment, and let me know what you think. But here we go, Moon Knight, Episode 4. I am delightfully confused by this uh, series. I will say that. Uh, but Episode 4 kind of left me spinning. I didn't know what to expect. Still not sure what happened. Um, but in a good way, because the whole Egypt archaeology, anthropology aspect of it, like the, going through the ruins and finding all the history out that the pharaohs left behind is very interesting to me. I'm very interested in this Moon Knight story, where it's going to go. But overall, this episode had so much going on. So much of the backstory you don't know yet or maybe i missed or could be my dumb ass just missed it i don't know but it was just there's a lot to take in and i don't i was like i'm still processing it a week later from when i watched it like the ending i thought the hippo they show was the god that they were trying to get to before ethan hawk there uh, but I'm wrong on that. I do feel that La Crocodile Loki is coming back in this series based on some of the artifacts you see and some of the stuff they find in the tomb. I, I, that's my gut. You're going to see Crocodile Loki come back and Loki's going to be in Moon Knight somehow. You heard it here probably third. I don't even know. It wasn't first. I can't, can't be the first one to say that. I'm never first. I'm usually last. But... Moon Knight is going well. I'm enjoying this series a lot. Uh, it, it's I haven't ranked it. Haven't put it in there yet. If I had to, it's close to the top. Nothing's going to surpass Loki in my mind. Um, maybe it will. I don't know. I have high regard. I've watched Loki several times compared to the other ones I've only watched a couple times. But so far, Moon Knight is swimmingly like going swimmingly, entertaining, and the confusion is delightful. It's not like I'm confused and I don't want to come back. I'm confused because I want to know what's going on. And that's a credit to Marvel and the writers of the show. Um, keeping it interesting on a character who isn't well known, um, in my opinion, to the masses. And that's just based on my knowledge. Like, I know the main heavy hitters of the comic book world, MCU world. Um, I've heard of, like, I, I have heard of them and I know a little bit. But, like, Moon Knight was completely out of the radar for me, and I had no clue who he was. And then the preview for Moon Knight was like, this is going to be badass, and so far it has been. Oscar Isaac is delivering. Uh, he's just firing on all cylinders in this. The story of Moon Knight and the Egyptian god Kashu is just, just so great, and it's a great series so far. Episode 4 was worth the watch. It's The confusion level is up, ratcheted up in this one. Um, the psychotic break where you see um Stephen and Mark in the mental asylum together I was like what the hell's going on here and then this hippo shows up. oh Jesus he's next he'll be next you watch uh but Moon Knight so far is entertaining it is one of the better Marvel series um tempted to rank it rank it second in uh, the list but check out Moon Knight episode check out Moon Knight streaming on Disney Plus right now episode four was a delight uh, there's a lot of information, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of action, a lot of confusion, but in a good way. It's very delight. It's a inner mystery in and of itself, and it just makes you want to keep watching. Moon Knight episode four streaming now. Moon Knight streaming now. This I've been Mike for South and Normal. Hit me up when you want uh, with some comments on this. Let me know what your take is. I look forward to the next one. Peace. Look forward to. The